In this video, I will try to connect the PO Pendant 1 to the POKIS 57 CNC. The PO Pendant comes with a DB25 uh, connector. So in order to connect it to the uh, 57 CNC, you have to have a converter. It looks like this. It has a DB24 on one end and then the 26 pin cable connector in the other end. So I'll start connecting uh, these two here, like this, and then um, down here from the previous videos I still have the jumper sitting here, and since uh, I now don't need it, this e-stop bypass, I'll remove this jumper and then insert the uh, connector. So after connecting it you can see that the red LED here is flashing. This LED is used as a reset. Uh, it's the same as what's happening on the reset. So whenever reset is flashing, this one is actually also flashing. In order to set up the uh, Poe Pendant 1 in Mark 3, you basically have to open Mark 3, <coughs> secure that you have connection, and then you start the program. And then you go to the uh, Poe key controls. And the first thing you need to do is to go up and import the uh, Pokey mapping and the encoder setting and mapping. You have to find the files. And um, I have been using this one, Po Pendant Configuration, also one file that uh, you can download from Polab's uh, homepage. And then I will simply open that. And then the uh, configuration was red. Uh, I will uh, I will click the uh, cancel here because I've already done it. So that's step number one. So the import of these two uh, up here. Then the next thing uh, is you will secure that this uh, little tick is made here, pendant mode. And here you said enable fast encoder and let Pokey handle the MPG jogging. And then next is to go to the pulse engine setting. And over here there is an MPG setting uh, where you can calibrate. So depending on how many steps per unit your CNC is moving, you will have to have different calibrations here. But they have made it really nice because you simply just hit this auto here, this button here, and then it will fill out the numbers for you. Uh, so that uh, the movement uh, is calibrated to something which is meaningful for the machine you have. So it is of course very different if you have a lead screw machine where you have uh, 500 steps per unit uh, compared to one with a belt where you maybe have 20 some steps per unit. So the calibration will be very different and this is reflected. So this one goes out and reads your steps and calculates the optimal values. And then having done that, you have done everything you need to set it up and it's just basically a matter of trying it out. Let's try to test it. We'll hit the reset and um, then we'll just put the uh, X, Y and C at zero. And then um, we will see here, it, this one is on X and then 100, and we'll move it one. And nothing is happening. This one is on X, 100, and we will press this activation key and move it. And you can see that it moves very nicely, one millimeter at a time. We can go down one. So it moves very nicely, uh, one millimeter at a time at one X hundred, and uh, one tenth of a millimeter here, and one hundredth of a millimeter in the latter one. So very nice. Um, and we can also challenge it a little bit by trying to dial really fast. See, it's very easy to set up and it also works really well.